Um, I knew basketball was going to be my, my life ever since I was a little boy. I just stuck with it. And I kept myself around friends that wanted to be in a gym with myself. So the partying I did was, was at the basketball court. And that's all I've ever done. My dad's from Inglewood, California. My mom's from Wichita, Kansas. However, they met up in Tacoma, Washington and end up having kids and raising me. Uh, my dad is someone I really look up to, someone that I always wanted to be like. My mom is the one that when I got in trouble, I just, I go to my mom's house because I know I, I'll be okay. And without those two people, I, I, I definitely wouldn't be here today, but I wouldn't be the person, the father, the, the husband, the friend that I am today to a lot of people. So I can't say enough about them. And um, you ask anybody, Tacoma is a rough city, a rough neighborhood, but at the same time, it, it's made me who I am. Without Tacoma, I mean, I wouldn't be in the position I'm in today. And, and that's why I, I love the city so much. Another, another Zeke here, Zeke 17, all over again. We back to it, this is what we do. Back in it to win. We are here. Don't leave me here, leave me there. Zeke in is my annual basketball tournament that I have back in Tacoma, Washington, my hometown. And it's getting bigger and better every year. It was something we always look forward to at, um, after the season. It's amazing to see so many people come and support. Russell Wilson stopped by. We had John Wall come, Kelly Olenek, Terry Rozier, um, DeJounte Murray with the San Antonio Spurs, Jamal Crawford playing it. And it was, it was a star-studded event. And this was the first year I wasn't able to play, so that was another tough thing that I had to go through because if you know me, I'm, I play in anything. I play in YMCA leagues, I play in community center leagues, I'm LA Fitness, I'm everywhere. So for me having to be able to watch and coach, like it was tough. Like we don't have a team no more. We don't have the Seattle Sonics, so they don't get to see NBA players. And for the NBA players to come and be able to play, that's their NBA to them. And it's, it's, it's a great weekend and we always have a good time. one or two Sonics games a year. They would always play like the Lakers because that was his favorite team. So I would, I would go to those games and it was everything for me to just be at those games and, and be by the tunnel and slap, slap guys, give guys high, high fives. It makes me cherish those moments because I was once in those kids' shoes and being able to just touch NBA players was everything to me. Luckily, I have two boys and it's just, it's, it's a cool feeling to, to be able to be an NBA player and, and see them enjoy the perks of having that life. My family is everything. I remember at a young age, my dad always said, don't be a follower, be a leader. And that stuck with me. Before I looked up to anybody, I looked up to him. I wanted to give something to my dad for um, the passing of my little sister. So, I mean, my little sister can always be with him. I got one of the best pictures of my little sister and thought of an idea of a chain. Uh, uh, <laughs> please. <laughs> that's my daddy, boy. That's your, that's auntie. That's pretty as hell, man. Yeah, that's, that's her. 
That's single. I ain't putting nothing under these. This comes up by itself. This I wear this by itself. That is pretty, man. Man, that's yeah, this can't be good. That's pretty. I wanna do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Ooh wee. Don't sit down, please. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Let's see. And as I get older, you you cherish those moments with your family the most. Fill my lungs up, pour my heart out, fill my bones away. I got a basketball court at my house, so I was still out there every day playing with my kids, trying to at least. Only thing I couldn't do was run. My greatest achievement isn't the dollars. My greatest achievement isn't the followers. My greatest achievement isn't the accolades. My greatest achievement is my daughter. Waking up in the morning being My job as a father is to show my kids the, the ropes of being respectable young men, showing them ropes of, of being successful at whatever they want to do in life. I just try to make sure they're good in all aspects of life. And, and I think that's what my dad did to me. human being to this world and being able to mold him to really whatever you really want to mold him into and luckily I have two boys that are, are energetic and and love being who they are and that's what I love about being a father I mean basketball is always going to be there that's my first love but family is everything to me just flesh and bone I'm headed home but this life is so hard to leave but who am I when they cut the lights and nobody's watching me? Hold me up into the light and study every part of me. I'm an open book, no I don't mind, and sometimes I'm hard to read. Just flesh and bone, I'm headed home, but this life is so hard to leave. But who am I when they cut the lights and nobody's watching me? Gemini.